You can see I've uh, clamped it up, and this is a, was a two-day process. Now, towards the aft, um, it was not much of a bend at all, and actually up to probably about here, it wasn't much of a bend, but towards, obviously, the bow, and then sweeping up, we uh, had a little bit of uh, a challenge. And that's what it, how it started off. Basically, I spaced out. This is, these are tw two 12-foot pieces. And um, what I did was uh, spaced it out so where my center was. And I'll show you. So you can see here, I um, just made a regular 45-degree cut. You know, it's a scarf joint. But don't forget, this, this is not a structural member. This is for you know, bumping into the dock and protecting the side of the boat. When I did my two other boats, I ended up putting the plywood on first and then meeting it up with uh, the, um, the, the side gunnel here. And um, it worked out okay, but I found some unevenness, which I wasn't happy. So now I'm just using the uh, top of this piece to give it a perfectly straight line and then a sweeping angle. As you can see, as I walk over towards the bow, it it comes up dramatically and um, that's gonna be filled in uh, with some plywood and it'll have a nice up little sweep right there at the front. I think it'll look pretty good. I again made sure and fastened down with screws and clamps and um, I, I think it, it it looks really good um, it's it's a nice line it's a it's a, a sweeping line it's a nice curve and um, I think it's I think it looks good and uh, so I want to show you too because this was two days of bending um, I started it at uh, the bow, and the board was swinging out, and I held it up by a piece of lad or a ladder, and I would crank in with larger cr uh, clamps, you know, over time, and um, it I never heard anything snapping or popping. This is all kiln dried Douglas fir. Uh, the moisture content is about fifteen percent into it. And uh, it bent quite nicely. Um, this is dry fitted on there, and as it is right now, and it's going to stay like that for a few days, uh, simply because I want it to be able to breathe. As the clamps are holding it in place, there's only one solid piece right here that's actually, you know, keeping it fit uh, here at the bow. Everything else is allowed to move. So if is anything going to pop, it's definitely going to pop overnight. And um, I've had it uh, like this for over 24 hours and such was uh, no problems at all.
here's the uh, here's again the uh, the bow of the boat with the nice sweeping lines as you can see how it just swings up nicely and you know honestly if you, the ones that are following along with me from the beginning uh, you remember this last frame or this first frame whichever you want to call it and I had a problem with uh, the chine logs here at the bottom and I was wondering why I couldn't make that sweep and I have to add uh, wood and um, what had happened is I, I should have this whole um, frame should be about another inch higher and that way the arch well I should say maybe three quarters of an inch that's where you see the difference right there that I had to make up. And obviously what I'm going to do is just fill this in with uh, a wood strip to make up the difference. It's just extra work that I had to do. But the whole bow would have been a little bit higher to match that um, gunnel siding that I just put on. And you can see the difference, how much it uh, exaggerated it. So... That's what you got to pay attention. And the only reason why this got placed wrong was because I never had a sure measurement uh, from the uh, set found, the, the set line, which was shown on the plans. You could see where the chine log is and all those little pieces that I put in. Again, you, if you've watched my episodes, you've seen that whole section on how I put them in there. And what I'm going to do, you can see, I, I, I should say, I want to get to that. Um, what I've done is filled in with um, structural uh, epoxy, uh, all the nooks and crannies from all the longitudes and frames. And then I'm going to go over everything with um, uh, epoxy primer. Um you can see, again, the chine logs. And what I've done and what I've decided to do is for the end over here that's going to be uh, filled in with foam. Now, I'm going to fill it in with foam all the way around here. But um, aft along the transom is all filled in with foam. And then we're going to have those solid knee braces, another knee brace there. Another knee brace up here, this one in the corner. And again, just remember, it's just been dry fitted and clamped loosely. You can see the, the size of the wood. That's, that's one inch thick wood right there for the bottom base of that wheel well, or I'm sorry, motor well. And here's the motor well. And um, the, uh, the decking will come up and over around so I haven't decided if I'm gonna make this a storage uh, place like a fish well or just a seat I I haven't come to that yet um, it's builders discretion I might just make it just seats um, and that that's how it's gonna be uh, but uh, if anything this will have more of a chance to get wet than anything else and I want to thank one of my viewers that talked about the uh, the corner braces. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but I'm still gonna use those uh, corner braces there because um, as far as this transom goes, the main purpose is to keep that two by six beam across solid, attached to the, uh, the transom frame and plywood and uh, the, the members that are all connecting to it, all the longitudes. And then obviously the knee braces. So on this transom, it really doesn't need a beefy uh, corner brace. It just needs a little brace just for uh, some added support. So, <clears throat> I mean, uh, there you go, guys. Wait a minute. Let me fix this because I don't want my hat to be wrong. There you go, guys. Um, that's uh, the inside of the boat where we're at right now. I've... Uh, come to the conclusion now I'm going to uh, pretty much um, epoxy the whole bottom billage area and uh, let it dry up uh, pretty much all my uh, 
Inside, major wood pieces, other than the cabin, are made up. And uh, I'm starting uh, with the uh, the gunnels uh, on the, the guard rail and uh, the top gunnel. Some more? Give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Be good.